Hello guys and welcome to the final episode of Kira. Dude, we're already done Kira, man. I mean, it's only four episodes, so it made sense, but it feels so short, man. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, yeah, we're we're at episode four. Last episode was a banger, you know, the the hard romance episode um, with a little little Mion bias in it. You love to see it. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get into this. I've been enjoying, uh, Kira. I think they've been pretty, like, smart with how they did things. Like, I really liked, uh, episode two with, like, like, they feel like did OVAs, like, good side stories, I guess. Um, doing some nice play-ons with, um, with the original art, you know, and then and then uh the second episode like bringing Satoko along with the world jump was kind of cool. Um, I like that idea bringing people along. Like, you could have made like meme episodes of like bringing different people along, or like different people world jumping. And I get, I think this episode might kind of be like that, is we're bringing in a younger Rita, which kind of made sense too, because like you know Rita Rita has the power to jump so. This is some, I feel like it's going to be a weird timeline thing. Because we remember the preview where it says it's um, a, a, like a four or five year old Rita jumps into the past, or jumps into the current world and like Hanyu's trying to take care of her. Like I don't know if this is going to be like a separate entity than Rita or is this like four year old Rita going to take the normal Rita's place? Kind of like... So, like, maybe because the time stream doesn't let two Ritas in the same uh, fragment, which kind of made sense, because that's why Rita switches instead of um, just popping in and having two Ritas. So, but yeah, it, it sounds cool. Um, I mean, last last preview kind of baited us with the Mion thing, so maybe it won't go as, as we plan. But yeah, let's um, get into this. Um, as per usual, have your copy of the episode ready, um, and on the ten of three, start yours, and you should be synced up with the timer in the bottom right to, uh, to make sure you stay synced. I guess just shout out to Doki subs for, uh, because we're the, they're the subs we use to watch this season. I think they're, I think they're pretty good. I, I didn't see any problems. Um, the, the title of the episodes are different than the my anime list titles, but I've been using them because they sound better, so I don't know if they're right or wrong, but, but yeah, good job, Doki, you are not on the blacklist, maybe, maybe next time we'll use you again, and yeah, anyways, yeah, discussion at the end of the video too, and review should be out, uh, Wednesday, I guess, but yeah, let's start, let's start. Um, I'm gonna start the countdown now, so get your episode set up, and we're going in in three, two, one, go! Loving Hanyu scenes, ever since the Hanyu-san banger. <laughs> Dude, look at that Rita. She's way tinier than tiny Rita from Himitsubushi, man. <laughs> oh my god. If you think she couldn't be any cuter. Oh, she's playing hide and seek with Hanyu. Oh. Uh, this is how she time travels. Okay. Very short prologue this time. No banter today, just enjoying the jams. I really like this song. You know, after like hearing it the first time, you kind of think like I wouldn't like it as much as I do. It's not my usual vibe, but I don't know. I, I actually liked it a lot. <laughs> I think I liked it more than the first one, the first opening at least. 
I'm telling you, man, it's the freaking Hanyu song that does change my perception on Japanese music. Because <laughs> it's non ironically a banger. And I think that opened up my mind to cute songs again. Because I used to like cute songs in like grade 9 of high school. I guess that era is back. Kinda. <laughs> Probably won't listen to any other ones besides this and uh, the Hanyu song. Uh, let's go or so sotsu sotsu's is cute i did listen to a satoko song like three days ago but i'm just gonna keep it a hundred percent not as much as a bop of the hanyu song and you know how much i love satoko so i'm just it's my true opinion maybe i need to give it a couple more listens though Tale of the Dream Painting. Fun, squiddly lines. <laughs> Look at Hanyu sleeping here. The little cap. Love the cap, man. <laughs> the onesie. I don't think I've ever worn a onesie. <laughs> well. The life of a uh, Kaporio Hanyu. That's nice. And I'm sure she probably enjoys doing chores since she doesn't really get to interact well <laughs> before. I wonder if this is canon. Kaporio Hani might be canon. Sun hat. Dude. I always get envious when I see hats. My head's actually too big for hats. I think I can wear like a bucket cap or something like that, but I can't wear uh, like baseball caps unless I get a like a custom fit one. <laughs> Curse of the bid head gained. At least I'm smart. Not really. <laughs> oh, I bet she's in uh that old village next to Hinamizawa. I always forget what it's called. I always, like, when they brought it up, I thought it would have, like, a bitter role to play. But it, it isn't. It's just chilling there. <laughs> Uh-oh. Tiny Rita. She's lost. <laughs> oh god What's happening? Oh, maybe this is Hinamizawa. I thought this was the abandoned village. Never mind. <laughs> she don't be sleeping or chilling from the song. Nope. <laughs>
Also, don't tell that to Rita's mom. <laughs> she doesn't like that. Tiny Nipa. <laughs> this Hanya hasn't seen Tiny Rita like this in a while because of the limitations. Maybe she went to a shrine in the abandoned village. <laughs> I mean, it made sense. I mean, she does have the potential, so. Oh, cannon. <laughs> Hate paradoxes. <laughs> Besides, uh, the fifth KNK movie, which I think is called Paradox or something. That movie was pretty lit. You name dropped on Yashiro. <laughs> Maybe a large Yashiro near it. Oh, Yashiro. I keep forgetting. Because so Yashiro just generally means God, too. Even though it also, in the series, it means God of Hinamizawa, but it's just God in general. <laughs> Look at that Hany face. So happy. This is a pure Rita. Like a pure tiny Rita. Super rare. Aww. I like a Han- dude, this is fun. A Hanyu-centric episode. She never really got that much spotlight, to be honest. Well, every other character kind of did, so. Nice. <laughs> Chilling in a hot spring. Bun Hanyu, double bun Hanyu. I don't know what the hair says told. Looking nice. Fits her well. I guess it goes over her horns. Oh. Oh, the club members are here too. <laughs> Coincidence. Little, little show, I guess. <laughs> guess it made sense in a spa. Hot spring thing. <laughs> Reach your nose right away. <laughs> 18 traps with Satoko. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> she loses the bid cheats though. <laughs> Same dress, kind of, too. It's good to have the gain, though, to help. At least. <laughs> 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 
Then he pined. <laughs> oh god. Knee pot overload. <laughs> it's a good motto. Oh. Keiji. <laughs> oh god. Watch your surroundings. <laughs> I mean, he was just chilling. He's just big headed. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I mean, not cute what's happening to Keiji. Rena. <laughs> Jesus. Are these Keichis here too? That'll help, I guess. <laughs> that was a good scene. Seal up the tunnel. Maybe they're not going to the abandoned village. Maybe that will eternally be nothing, huh? <laughs> oh, nice. So this is canon. Canon confirmed. Part of the Rita lore. <laughs> oh. Now she can't get back. Will we have to rebuild, rebuild it stronger than ever <laughs> before? Fair, it's a long time. <laughs> uh, let's how they're using Anatakishi for Spirited Away, even though that means Demon Away. <laughs> it's funny. It is true. Strange things happen. So this is four-year-old Rika. So this is like, I mean, I guess the dam's been in tots for a while. But I think, I know the ages are disputed, but in my mind, Rika's like 10 years old in canon. So this is like six years, so two years before the first murder. Oh. Hani dropping another banger. Put it on the Hani playlist. <laughs> Aww. The good old days. It's the key to opening the temple or the tunnel. It's 
better. <laughs> Hanyu accidentally used her godlike powers. Oh, uh, this might be like a popular Japanese folktale, but modified. I obviously don't know it. Kichi actually figuring it out. Oh. What did he figure out? I thought he was about to say that. Is that her really her sister? <laughs> but The twin shrine. I don't really, I guess maybe I should have paid attention to uh, the lyrics more. Uh, okay. Okay, I understand that. Because the last verse was the Hinamizawa version and the demon one. Okay, that's actually cool. That actually does relate to me and Jin a lot, huh? Hmm. Makes sense. Why is Hanyu sad? Oh, maybe. Can Hanyu not leave? The village, maybe? Oh, not the village, but the region of Hinamizawa. Also, Hanyu's a freaking beast. She's been carrying tiny Rita for, I assume, a pretty decent hike. Huh? Question is, how did Rita get to Hinamizawa? <laughs> Must have been hard for her. <laughs> okay. What time are you thinking there? That is true. If this is a pure Rita, then this re I'm guessing this Rita is going to go through the hundred years. Ah. It's 
private. She's trying to say no, though. Because she'll miss her Hanyu. And maybe the parents, since this is still pure Rita. <laughs> Kind of getting emotional here. Kind of hitting in the feelings. <laughs> it's a good thing. Bye, Tiny Rita. It was a fun little journey. <laughs> um, This is kind of epic. Beautiful fall scene. What is this? That'll look at through time. What is this? A rare world? This is what Tiny Rita will experience? Or something? And she's back. Oh, did they come too? Oh, they did. Are we going to see double Hanyu? Oh, I mean, you say that, but can't you just give them, like, a little hint, you know? Don't trust Takina. <laughs> Maybe cut down a couple years. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. But this was good, man. Back to their world. Cute. <laughs> this 
stir fry. Look at that, dude. Man. That was a surprise, dude. I was just expecting memes to the end. And while this one, me moment, I guess. I don't know, felt pretty serious. And, like, I feel like it should be canon. <laughs> I'm gonna just consider this canon. It doesn't really mess with anything, and it just adds some cool Rika lore, to be honest, so. But yeah. Final ending. This one's good, too. It doesn't hit as good for me as uh, the opening. But, I like it. Are we gonna see Hani at the end of this one? Because, you know, they change up a little bit. Ba, ba, ba. I do like this though. I just said I didn't like it as much. It's kind of nice. It is kind of catchy. Yeah, it's I will, I will. Made sense. No preview, just end. No see you next time. Okay. Wait it out, wait it out. Fade to black. And we're done! Ladies and gentlemen, Kira is complete. Um, yeah, we'll talk about it. But thanks for watching. That was a good episode, man. I really like that. But yeah, yeah, let's go into it. I need to, I need to scan through while thinking about it. I'm just so surprised because I was just expecting more memes. I thought this was the true meme art, and you know, in ways it was. But this was like, this was just like really good. <laughs> Less meme, more little more emotionally driven and again maybe canon <laughs> um even if it isn't canon it's canon in hearts because like why not <laughs> but yeah let's talk about it so we did a little backstory of tiny rita and i am s of how of, of how she got into the world but let's, we'll talk about that after hanyu in her sleeping drip in corporeal form you gotta love the sleeping cap and the onesie dress thing matching looking it's a nice sleeping set not gonna lie um the hanyu sun hat is nice too and then they meet <laughs> so this it's interesting just going into this through the preview i just assumed this was like a a Rita from a different fragment being younger, but I don't know. That might not be the case. This might be some, like, not fragment based stuff, but just some weird time stuff, to be honest. Because who, who, who knows how fragments and time actually works? Um, but, like, just from how it's shown, this does seem to be, like, an iteration of Rika pre time jumping. Now, maybe, like, in how fragments work, like, it's fragments within a fragment within, like, fragments. So, like, we have the Rita we know in the main Hidarashi series. Lots of fragments. And then she's, like, in this big fragment where she can jump through. And maybe there's other big fragments where, like, other iterations of, uh, of Rita's are that can jump through fragments. <laughs> I don't... This is all headcanon. I'm just trying to, like, think of a way, like... I don't know, <laughs> to uh, reason it, I guess. And maybe that's, like, 
maybe that's what this tiny Rita is. She's like before the jumping version, but she's like from a different timeline. And maybe that kind of it explains um, when they went through the date at the end and they saw all these moments um, that we haven't seen before. They're all new tech. So maybe she'll have different experiences in her thing. Which may be good or bad, who knows? I mean, Rita winning in the end is like the super miracle. So I don't know if other Ritas could accomplish that. And also maybe I'm just like overthinking it. And this is just like the Rita we know before, before the looping starts. Does it actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this is a very good point. Does this happen before Hani started using her powers, right? This is like um before the looping started. So this is like said. So I assume there's not really iteration. I don't know. <laughs> I hate talking about fragment stuff because it, it just hurts my head trying to think about it. But yeah, I, I, I'll just point that out. This happens before Hanyu starts using her powers. So maybe this time travel thing always happens with Rita. Um, or something like it's just part of her character and it can't really be changed i don't know <laughs> so point of thinking about this if it'll never be answered probably not but it, it's a little fun she is also adorable this is like the super tiny rita she got like the puffy cheats little little two dots on her it kind of reminds me that some of the cgs in hidarashi they're not really like only like maybe two or three have like rita with the little dots on her um, but they don't really stick, so it does look cute though. <laughs> Hani's loving it too. The crazy Hani blushing faces, definitely worthy of uh, thumbnailing, maybe. <laughs> and yeah, it is cool that Hani likes this one because, like, yes, Hani's been with Rita for hundreds of years, but this is a pure Rita pre time jumping so this is like a type of Rita she probably hasn't seen after like a couple of time jumps right after Rita started getting used to it plus in the recent couple tries she couldn't jump too far back so she couldn't even like see this Rita if she wanted to so so yeah I can understand why Han is excited also like I was saying in the reaction it's nice to have like a kind of a Hanyu centric episode obviously the spotlight kind of spreads out by the halfway point but just the first half of Hanyu is nice because Hanyu you know she, she she's definitely a side character um but she hasn't really gotten nah, I mean I say that but like she does get her spotlight kind of in Matsuri Bayashi I guess but it's nice to see some spotlight on Hanyu because like even I mean I was gonna say even talking over like can I really say that when I hype up Takino every time I see her? Um, I don't know what I'm going to say. I, I just think it's nice to see her getting some spotlight. Um, and it does, by the end of it, it does grow. I, I've been talking about like how this affects Rita Batsuri, but it does grow on you a bit more. Even though, like, I cannot, I cannot, like, like I understand before this happened about Hanyu's character, but it's nice to see it actually happen, I guess. Um, the little look around in the rain, scared Rita. Hanyu being a nice bid sister to her. It's very cute, very cute episode in general. Then we get into the hot screen. Dude, Rita in the hot screen, she just looks like a blob, dude. It's very adorable. Then the clubs there, little, little spice for your life bound to happen and then you get the the Teichi scene the dude the Teichi scene was funny man <laughs> and he's just chilling man he's not even trying to do anything perverted and you know we'll even give a little more to Teichi you know you're in a freaking rural rural village it's even less chance of someone seeing you go for a hot spring but you know even if he didn't mean it guess he must be punished <laughs> I, I I love how everyone just uses their moves too. You know, Mian Mian blushes because you know it's Mian to Teichi. Satoko immediately traps up. 
Xi'an tasers, Rena Tate's Tate's at home. <laughs> rip, rip. Uh, I like how also Rita like immediately understands what's kind of happening and plays along with it. Very smart of her. Um, and they continue looking through. Right, right. Then we got the lullaby, new Han you just dropped. I love the little montage of uh, the Rita Vino with her tiny self and Han Yu. Again, probably pre jumping, or at least in the early jumping phases. Then you get Big Brain Keiichi figuring this out. It it made sense. It does make sense. Like when when Keiichi was thinking, I was like, oh, is he trying to say something dumb? Like, um, like that that Rita and Tiny Rita are sisters. I mean, it's not dumb, but that's what I thought he was trying to do. After he looked at Shion and Leon, or like figure out that they're the same person somehow, or something, or they're too similar. But no, he he. he Pops off, man. It's not something I'd expect from Keiichi. That's like a battler from Muminato thing, aka the main character from Muminato. Um, but yeah, I'm impressed. And it made sense. It made sense from the lyrics. You know, you got two different versions one Hinamizawa and one like the standard version, I guess, for the lullaby. Which again is like, I believe it's probably a Japanese, a classic Japanese lullaby, which we have no knowledge of. Or at least I don't, but. Yeah, it's a cool one, and it also um, correlates with Mion and Xi'an, you know, talking about, like, there's one demonic form and one not. I thought that was kind of cute. Then they make it there, and then you got, like, this super heartfelt scene. Actually, I really like that, man. I didn't, I did not expect to uh, get hit in the feelings. And Kira, like, once we kind of figured out it was more memes than anything, but it ended in the set arc in uh or this episode too man but it worked man i i love seeing hani being so heartfelt you know thinking about what's best for tiny rita and then tiny rita's response you know she was gonna say no but like you could see it coming that she was gonna say she wants to see she wouldn't be able to see her hani again and i don't know that just it felt it felt nice and then you get the little montage scene, which is really cool. I still think that maybe it's my overcomplicated idea of what's happening in the fragments. And these are like, what's in store for this tiny Rika? Her life? And who knows, like, if this is like some different instance where it's not gonna be the exact same as this Rika, maybe she'll beat the freaking, uh, beat the, beat Takano, I guess, in their first try. Who knows, dude? It's a, it's a, it could be a super bright future for her. But yeah, the whole goodbye stuff and stuff really, really hit me, man. <laughs> Did it hit harder than Ray? I don't know. It's always harder to say because when you when you get a, a nice sad scene like that, um, or an emotional scene, in the moment it always hits different. But yeah, solid, solid. I'm impressed, honestly. You know, you know, we called Ray a sandwich. I guess this was. How would I talk to this? It's like you get, oh, I don't know. I don't know a good analogy, man. What's a good one? What's a good um three to four or one to one out of four analogy? No, no. So why why are we thinking about fruit? But you get the point. It, it's it's a nice surprise and it's a great way to end it. You know, um, and it's just the formatting. If you think about it, like Ray's formatting worked for me because you know you got a little memes at the side and then you have one big arc. And I think that, like, it worked nicely. And this one, if you have, like, four memes and you can't get that, like, nice spread, I think ending it off, like, I guess starting it off with, like, probably the most, in my opinion, the most meme episode yet, with not really a story and just full-on fan service and ending it off with, like, a, a pretty serious episode. I mean, it's a fun episode, but it is the most, like, serious out of um, all of them. I think, anyways. Um, it's good, man. It's good. It's also nice to see Rita, you know, this matured Rita also being super nice to Hani at the moment. But yeah, that that's what we got. I think I'll end it there, man. Good episode. Good episode. Great way to end off Kira. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed Kira. Um, then we will have the review Wednesday. 
and then we'll do outbreak fairly soon uh probably friday maybe monday if we need a break though since it's like an hour long thing and it is almost like a movie maybe friday is better <laughs> for people you know since you need to uh have more time i guess to watch it i don't know we'll, we'll figure out whenever it, it'll be like super soon anyways and then we'll kind of take a more of a longer break priya go because that's like well, a bigger thing right but yeah that's all i got thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed tira i thought I, I had a blast man and yeah let's hope uh hidrashi keeps being good <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching see you next time bye